Got a 6080 here, 180 something thousand miles, and it had a lot of torque converter shutter. I changed the transmission fluid, it wasn't that bad, and uh, went ahead and put the uh, shutter additive in there, two different kinds, and it was still doing it. It actually did not improve at all. And I first HP tuned this thing, and the only thing I had changed was I had disabled a converter lockup in first through fourth, and then in fifth and sixth, I put its target slip RPM as zero RPMs. That way it would operate like an old school lockup converter. Um, but that's the only thing I changed, and it still would vibrate in fifth and sixth, of course, because, well, it was uh, slipping. Um, and even with the target RPM at zero RPM, it was not able to sustain zero RPM because the converter clutch is so worn, it needs more apply pressure to hold zero RPM worth of slip. So what you want to do is on your, go to trans, and you have your two tabs, your general and your apply release. First thing, go ahead and go to your apply release, and here's your normal conditions. But under you're going to click on all of these tabs here except for fifth and sixth we're, i'm going to go ahead and leave the converter operational in fifth and sixth of course because we want fuel mileage and doesn't want to build heat in the transmission but under all these tabs you're going to uh, click on these and you're going to disable because uh, this is all first through fourth gear is what all these tabs are um, and you're going to put 318 miles an hour as your apply speed that's mile an hour so it wants to hit 318 miles an hour which of course it can't do to apply it and then 317 miles an hour is where it uh, re-enables it now i just didn't pull this number out of my ass this was the numbers that gm actually used um under some of these tables where you could tell that they did not want the um, torque converter clutch to apply so i just copied their their numbers and those numbers work just fine um like i said in fifth and sixth all all of the green tabs here i have changed the blue tabs i have not um, and I went through and changed all of these. Now, pattern A, pattern B, that could be when the tow haul mode is enabled, I'm not sure, but I changed all this, except for like the tap up and tap down. You can see these are already disabled. I did not change these, these were blue, but you can see here where they use 318 miles an hour to apply, and well, that doesn't even have a disabled on, uh, located on there, but uh, anyways, uh, go back over here to apply. Um, and so that's basically everything you're going to do there. And, and of course, under full throttle, you're going to do the same thing. Um, you're going to apply it at 318, disable it at 317, and um, all, all the way down. I, I didn't, of course, touch four low. Now, um, that basically is going to set at what speeds and what gears the torque converter clutch is enabled. Now, you have to go in. So basically, you have disabled torque converter clutch and everything but fifth and sixth gear so now you're going to go to general and we're going to change the apply ramp now this is think of it like fuel trims so if it wants um you know 10 rpm worth of slip and it has 10 rpm worth of slip it's going to be at the zero because it's spot on it's right on target which means it's going to multiply uh i'm thinking this is a multiplication factor um its apply rate by 1.0 just like a fuel trim um, so basically the apply rate would not change but if we were off of our target say 20 slip rpm it's going to well this is my change table let me go to my compare file so this is what it was from the factory um, so if it were off at 20 or, or uh, yeah 20 slip rpm and it wanted to be zero rpm uh, at, the, at this amount of engine torque, it's going to increase the uh, factor that it's applying the torque converter by 10.5. Um, but down here under full throttle, so max torque, full throttle, a high RPM, and we're slipping 250 RPM, that's, that's a lot of slip for that one. We're gonna really wanna pull in uh, the apply pressure, really increase that pressure so it has a really large factor of 320, the multiplication factor, whatever that is. So I'm going to take that 320 and I'm going to apply it to all of these, only on the right side, because I don't care about this. This is this is when you're coasting in D-cell, so I don't care about that. So as you see, um, this is what I've changed all those to is 320. Um, now let's go back. And then um, max pressure, I increase this. And of course, this is a lot. This most of this information I found out on the internet. Um, well, all this information I found out on the internet, and nobody was changing the max pressure that I found, but I did, because this converter was definitely worn. Uh, I increased it to 1,378 kilopascals. The original was 
uh, down here at 953. So I think that was 200 PSI that I increased it to. Um, and of course it's never gonna probably hit that anyways. Basically, I don't think I'm gonna like blow up the torque converter or anything because this would bas basically, if your converter clutch solenoid would be stuck in the wide open position, you know, your converter's not gonna be damaged at that point. So I don't see what's the big deal about increasing your max uh, pressure to, you can increase it to infinity as far as I'm concerned. I don't think that's gonna have any effect on it. Uh, this is a very worn out clutch, so we want as much pressure as we can get. Then they were also saying the regulator offset, uh, they said that's the minimum uh, converter apply pressure that it's going to apply when the converter is uh, is, is engaged uh, in lockup. And this factory had that set at a much lower 184 kilopascals. They want to increase to 90 psi, which is 620 kilopascals. And then they also said some people said to uh, set the regulator gain at 1.0. Uh, some people kept it at 1.5. So I went ahead and changed it to 1.0. And I can tell you that this worked, and this transmission was uh, was vibrating like crazy and now it, it dries perfect it does not have a very noticeable lockup when it does lock up uh, you can barely feel it like the customer's not going to complain uh, and I also did turn off DOD because in DOD uh, it's gonna want converter slip to make up um, you know for the loss of horsepower and for the out of balance that in four cylinder mode it might have so you definitely disable DOD and I'm gonna go ahead and disable all of these DOD slip charts because obviously I'm not running DOD I did not change any of this here but like I said all of the green tabs is what I changed on this screen and that's it